Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to talk about two basic operations in image processing which are subsampling and uh, rescaling. So before jumping into the notebook, just a quick uh, reminder of what subsampling is. So subsampling is really the easiest uh, way of uh, reducing the, the size of an image. So the basic idea is that starting from uh, all of the pixels value in an image, so here we imagine an image that is uh, an 8x8 eight eight, uh, pixels, uh, and we what we will do if we subsample, for instance, by a factor of two of two, it means it will only keep every second pixel of the image in both dimensions. So we'll take the first pixel, skip the, the next one, take the third one, etc., and then skip the next row, and again we skip every two rows and every two uh, columns in the in the image to produce uh, an output which will be so downsized by uh, in this case a factor of two. So this is really the most uh, uh, the easiest way of just reducing the size of an image. We don't really uh, try to, to make something uh, nice. We just take uh, every second pixel. Um, so by comparison, some other techniques that uh, that might produce smoother results would be to average, for instance, every block of four pixels. Uh, sometimes uh, another method that's, uh, that's, uh, that's used is also called uh, max pooling, where we take the uh, maximum value in a certain neighborhood. So those are all kind of the same idea of um, uh, basically summarizing the information contained in a block of pixel into uh, one uh, value. And so depending on the application, uh, some methods are better than, than other. The, the most simple of those is just the uh, subsampling, so where we just take the first value of the block and put it uh, as the uh, output. Um, so let's uh, quickly now uh, demonstrate how this works in, in practice, because it's also interesting uh, to show uh, some uh, NumPy indexing, some more NumPy indexing than, than we, uh, what we've done so far. So we'll start, as usual, um, with uh, our notebook, where, we'll, where we load and display an image. So in this case, it's a 512 by 512 pixels uh, image. So the uh, kind of intuitive way of doing subsampling would be to, to, to go with a uh, double for loop. So the kind of the uh, regular um, coding uh, that, that we might want to do. And if we were to do that, uh, we can create, for instance, here a, a subsample method where we put an image and a factor. And what we would do would be first to create a new image that you could initialize here with zeros using NumPy and with the uh, uh, as a starting shape, oops, sorry, divided by factor. So the, um, the, the shape of the original image divided by uh, the subsampling factor. So the double slash in Python is for integer um, uh, division, um, so that we are sure that we have a, 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 an integer at the at the end. We could also just cast, uh, so do a normal division, then uh, cast it to integer. But this does does it all at once, um, and then we would do a loop through both dimension. First dimension will be the uh, vertical dimension. Second, second will be the uh, the horizontal dimension, and we would simply do that. Uh, the new the new value for y j is equal to the uh, old value of the same coordinates multiplied by the uh, factor. So this would uh, be the kind of uh, intuitive and easy way of uh, doing subsampling. So let's say now that we uh, call this method on our original image by a factor of two to start with, and we can display the results. First of all, display the shape, check that it worked, and display the results. So you can uh, see a few things here. First is that we have a 256 by 256 image, so we, we did the subsampling. Uh, and then you see that the, the image here is uh, with a weird um, uh, color, color scale, so instead of having the normal black and white. Uh, so this is just um, uh, Matplotlib doing the, the, the visualization, where basically um, 
Matplotlib usually tries to, to, to kind of guess uh, what type of image you are showing and uh, uses an appropriate color, color bar uh, depending of, of the, the, the data type. And here, uh, the way we initialized our, um, our array here, um, it by default, NumPy, we initialize the array as the float uh, data type. So if I print the uh, type here it will be uh, floats 64 bits uh, floats and um, Matplotlib by default when it's a float number just uh, uses uh, a color uh, heat map uh, with um, not necessarily uh, black and white uh, uh, color map uh, so one way we could uh, change that would be to here uh, cast the, the array as uh, unsigned uh, integer so, so that it's uh, also in 8-bit unsigned integer, and then Matplotlib will say, okay, 8-bit unsigned integer, that's a grayscale image, uh, I show it in, in grayscale. Uh, we could also force it uh, to, uh, to use a grayscale uh, 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 here by, by putting, for instance, a plt.gray here, and it would do the, the, the same thing. Okay, so this is the, the basic subsampling, um, but what I really wanted to show here was uh, how to do it uh, um, more quickly using some uh, smart NumPy indexing. So just as a reminder, um, here I'm going to quickly uh, create a, uh, a vector, so just a one-dimensional array uh, with values ranging from 0 to 99. Uh, as we've seen before, the, the, the way to index uh, a certain value with NumPy, I could say uh, A of 10, for instance, to get the uh, tenth value um, of the of the uh, of the array here. Uh, if I want to uh, to get a slice of the array, so uh, um, I could do, for instance, ten from value ten to value twenty, and it would give me uh, the range from ten to twenty. Okay, so this is uh, uh, the, the the bar that we've already seen. Um, what I've not shown yet is that we can also add a third uh, value in this range here, which would be the step that we that we use uh, to uh, to go through the array. So if I say here 10, 20, uh, 2, it will go from the index 10 to index 20 uh, excluded. So it will actually go to index 19 uh, with a step of 2. And so it will skip every second uh, value. Okay. So that means that um, using this kind of notation, I can very quickly actually uh, do the, the, the subsampling. Um, and uh, for that, one other trick that you that you um, that will be useful will be that you can actually um, just write. So if you start from the first value and you go to the last value, you don't have to put anything uh, with those, those first two numbers here. You can just say, okay, starting from the first value to the last value without putting anything with a step of two and this will uh, go through the entire array. Um, so this is some very powerful way of indexing a NumPy array that will uh, that would allow us to basically summarize uh, all of those uh, lines by just this. So we just want to go through the entire image, uh, take every uh, pixel so from the beginning to end but by with a step of our subsampling factor, and the same in the other axis. So if we do that, uh, we have the exact same results, but uh, this time we we only used uh, one line, and it will be very optimized because it's done directly uh, within uh, NumPy. Uh, so this is really um, really useful when you just need to uh, to to have. Uh, um, an image to quickly use an image with a with a smaller size, or in some uh, particular algorithms, as we will see in uh, a next uh, video. Um, sometimes you may want also to um, to um, resize the the image in the uh, in the other di direction so to to increase the the size of an image. Uh, for that, you actually have or to downsize it. Um, a also a method within scikit image called uh, rescale where you can actually do some things that are a bit uh, uh, smarter and uh, more 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 complex but which will take p potentially a bit uh, a bit uh, longer to compute or you can also uh, add some interpolations so linear or uh, or quadratic or bicubic uh, um, interpolation and the way it works is just uh, using the rescale uh, method so from the transform um, module, 
you can uh, do rescale of the image and you will uh, put the, the factors if i put 0 0.5 it will do uh, also the the, the scaling uh, so the subsampling the downsizing by by two uh, and here you can add the order of the interpolation so order equal zero would be um uh, basically the same as uh, the, the the basic uh, subsampling so it's no interpolation uh, i can quickly display it here two so this would be the same basic uh, downs uh, downsampling but i can also uh, so you probably not see uh, a lot here but if i do an order of one it will be do some linear interpolation and if we go and zoom into it we should be able to see um that it's a uh, slightly uh, more blurry uh, normally around here yeah so it's not a very big uh, a very big effect but basically uh, it's it's going to smooth uh, things uh, things out a bit and do some uh, some interpolation it's not very visible in the downscale which will be more visible if we actually try to to upscale the image so i can also do a, a um, so upscaling here, the image has been the size of the image has been uh, increased by a factor of two, and um, here we have something that is uh, relatively uh, smooth. Uh, if in this case, if I do order equal uh, zero, I should have something that is a lot more uh, pixelated uh, in here. Um, so that's it for for subsampling and rescaling, uh, and I will see you in the next video.